Today we are discussing a few considerations for taking kids out, or any new climbers, on their first multi-pitch climbs. Hello again everyone, I'm Jason. As this summer drew to a close, we got each of our seven-year-old boys out separately on their first multi-pitch climbs. I had intended to just do two or three pitches with them and then head down, but each wanted to keep going, to the point where each one completed the 1500 vertical foot climb. On a 510B route, that's really more sustained around 5'8 or 5'9. But having done about two dozen pitches with a kiddo on a wall now, I thought I'd talk about a few points of emphasis that I discovered as I spent hours on the wall with new climbers and which made me refocus on some of the sometimes overlooked elements of multi-pitch climbing. First, I want to talk about life at the belay stance. When I'm out in the wild with my kids in the shoulder seasons or winter, I'm always reminding them that the first thing to do when we stop is layer up. We aren't cold now, but we will be after standing around for a while. The inability to move around while at the belay station means limited means to use movement to keep warm. So on go the layers. Then I was struck by my kids' desire to have a snack and take in some water at the end of just about every pitch. Seems like a good practice, right? I usually take in water every half hour and food every hour when I'm on a big hike. So shouldn't I do the same when I'm expending even higher levels of energy? And lastly, I was reminded why it's important to be able to tie a clove hitch using a carabiner like we normally do, but also tie it in the air, as a mistimed fall while tying the hitch over the carabiner can cancel out the guide mode function of a belay device. Then I was reminded about some good practices to consider while on the move. The first is the benefits of shorter pitches. Being able to stay in communication is really important when you have climbers of differing experiences. A small thing that maybe we take for granted, but I had to really emphasize, was not waiting until you are past the draws before cleaning them. The tension on the rope, if you are too close to the draw, can make them very hard to unclip. I also had to think a lot about spacing as I climb behind my kids in a team of three. I stuck with my kids to be kind of a reassuring presence, but also the more we can move together, the easier it is for the belayer who is managing two ropes. However, I also need to be thinking about rope stretch if my kids should fall, as with enough stretch, he could potentially fall into me. Keep looking for feet. And speaking of keeping some distance, that also means that I needed my rope to stay clipped in if we reached any sharp turns. So while my kid could unclip both ropes from the current draw if we were both still under the next draw, if the next draw was gonna be out to the side, I could be left with a frightening pendulum fall if he were to unclip me. So there were seven points of emphasis when it came to taking my kids on their first multi-pitch climbs, and which I think apply to anyone who's new to climbing and doing their first or first few multi-pitch climbs. So thanks for coming to the end of this video. Please do all the things like subscribe, ring the bell, and visit our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. So have you taken any new climbers out on multi-pitch climbs? What did it teach you or teach them? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.